And what about you, Ashley? You, the big thing was about reclaiming kind of your life, uh, kind of going out there again. So how has that been like? How do we get to see that in season two? You do get to see that. Um, me reclaiming my, I don't want to say reclaiming my life because I never felt like I lost my life, but I did lose um, a lot of who I was and the things that I was able to do for myself. Mm -hmm. And now me unapologetically going after the things that I want. I feel like for so long, because when you're a mom and you're a wife, you feel like you are supposed to always, the family comes first and this comes before that and the house and then this, and then you get to you. And I've done that now for 15 years and I've decided, you know, it is time for Ashley to be at the forefront of her own life and do the things that I've always dreamed of and the things that I've always desired. I have, with Quick, I've created a great family. I've created a great marriage and good kids. And, you know, so now it's time for me to, you know, reinvest into Ashley. Okay. Now, what would you say is most is different than season one but now we're in season two uh you know right now me taking on the responsibility and the the challenges that come along with being um an author now you know uh mm -hmm. i worked independently with a publisher so that was a lot of hard work and now mm -hmm. that the book is finally done it's like okay this heap of hard work is over now we have to go into the promotion of the book and making sure that the book actually sells and that, you know, it's it's selling all over the country and things like that. So I think that that's where I am now and understanding that I need help. There is no such thing as, you know, people not having a team and self-made and all of those things like you have to have help. So that's where I am right now. Why was it important for you to write the book? Uh, it was really important for me to write the book because I know how daunting it can be to go through depression. I know how daunting it can be to have people feel like you are suffering from something that isn't real. I know how much of a void I felt in myself when I wasn't accomplishing the things that I wanted to accomplish. And so I would hear people and see people around me that I saw a reflection of my old self. And I was like, there needs to be a voice for these people. They need to understand that although it is difficult, you are the only person that can save you. And that that's what my book is, is all about. Wonderful. And, yeah. and so first of all, thank you so much for putting that out, especially in the African-American community. You know, we suffer in silence. We don't speak. We don't, therapy is a big thing. So thank you so much for speaking upon 